Jesus Freak here. Now, in a comment on a video I released a little while ago, I said that there was a certain UFO cult which used certain terminology and iconography as a veneer. And in the comment, I said, Zenu, Zenu, now you got cancer. Since I know that's going to take a little bit of explaining, because I don't think most of you are familiar with uh, Scientology doctrine. You see, I mean, I might uh, mess this up a little bit, because I learned it about 12 years ago. You see, I kind of learned this all on the fly when I was protesting them. The Church of Scientology, as they call themselves is a UFO cult. Now, there's this teaching. Probably the best way to explain it, you know, oh, there's this South Park. I don't like to recommend South Park because it's a t uh, terrible show. But this episode goes into all this stuff about, about the operating Thetan 3 story. And they put a disclaimer on the screen saying this is what Scientologists actually believe. Because it, it sounds like the ravings of a two-bit uh, dime store pulp sci-fi author. Because that's exactly what it was. That's exactly what L. Ron Hubbard was. <laughs> but At first, they try to tell you it's compatible with all religions because they want to suck you in. But once you start going up the bridge, as they call it, you know, eventually, they'll give you this story and, you know, this is the real truth, as they say. And what, what they tell you is that this evil galactic overlord was trying to solve an overpopulation problem. So we got together a bunch of psychiatrists and tax collectors. Gee, I wonder why he picked a psychiatrist and tax collectors. But they'd go gather their victims, sedate them, put them in Space DC-8s, you know. They were spaceships that looked like DC-8 airplanes. And they bring them to Earth, which they called Tiak. <laughs> yeah. And they plant these people at the, well, still sedated at the base of volcanoes. And then they blow the volcanoes up with H-bombs. And supposedly, all our suffering is the result of the so disembodied souls of these victims clinging to our bodies. <laughs> yeah. This is the kind of stuff L. Ron Hubbard came up with. Obviously, once you get to this point on the bridge... Once you get into the operating Thetan levels, you know, you learn that Scientology is not, in fact, compatible with other religions. That it's another cult. And it's all based on lies. But I felt I had to explain this because I'm not sure that most of the people I uh, who watch my videos are familiar with this stuff. I know some of them are because I talk about it a lot in my chat rooms on IRC, and I've talked about it a bit on Facebook, 
but I haven't really talked about this much on YouTube. So, now you know. Jesus freak out.